Suspension Bridge. And this is certainly something that's been identified as something that the residents would love to see put back into its original state. My day is finishing off today here in North Yeovil. My day started in Wellington where I had some meetings lined up with a few residents. And whenever I sit down with someone, I say, tell me what's important from your perspective from this state government. And I get a whole range of different information in that way. Matt, welcome to Munchy. Nice to uh, have you in here. Nice to see you around the area as well. Yeah, thanks very much, Andrew. It is great to be here in Munchy, and I've been over just about once a week actually during the campaign, and it's really important to get over there. Munchy is probably one of the areas that I don't know as well as other parts of the electorate, so I think it's really important to get over here, talk to people, find out what's going on, and people are really welcoming, but also really keen to make sure that I understand the issues, the, the concepts, and some great ideas I've heard as I've tripped around Munchy. But this is Farmer Brown's pastured eggs. And it is a really different concept in terms of the way people farm eggs. And the idea is that they're allowed to roam around as you can see behind me at the moment. And then there's some caravans you can see there where they go naturally into roost each night and effectively they lay their eggs there, they're collected from there. And then about every four to seven days, the caravans are moved and the chooks are moved to a new area. But that's one of the really enjoyable parts that I'm finding on the campaign trail. I get to look at what people do and the way people do things quite differently and, and again this is a, a great approach and I've been very impressed. My day did start off in Mudgee today where I had some business people lined up to talk to me, I had some wineries who wanted to talk to me, understanding their needs and being able to represent them properly and truly and be an authentic representative and, and I think I'm able to do that and I'm certainly working hard to make sure I am gathering as much information so I can be an effective representative. I then went to Real FM and, and both Real FM and 2MG have been very good to me when I've come to visit over in Mudgee on a regular basis. I then went and did something that I, I really enjoy doing and, and that is just going along and knocking on doors, knocking on farms, knocking on businesses' doors and just saying hello and I, and I, I literally walk up, I open the door and I say, hi, I'm Matthew Dickerson, I'm trying to be your state representative in State Parliament next year, what can I do for you? So I went to Mullamuddy, I went to Burundula, and, uh, and then as I came back into Mudgy, I got flagged down by a person on the side of the road who saw my car and could work out that it was me. It's not that hard to do it with the size of my head on the side of the car. And then I came out here to end the day at Spices Creek. So thanks to all those people who gave me their time today. I'm finishing off my day here in Patabaka, just on the edge of Mudgy. And I've had another productive day meeting with a range of people. I spent some time at the hospital this morning and it was great to have some people show me around the hospital as it stands today and looking at the redevelopment, looking at the plans for that redevelopment. And that was good to see where it's going and also to look at additional services that might be added on as we go forward with that particular hospital. I then had the chance to catch up with Ken Sutcliffe, of course Ken, one of Mudgy's favourite sons and someone that's got an incredible career or had an incredible career on Channel 9 and, uh, and obviously it was great to hear from Ken and, and just hear some of his vision for Mudgy going forward. I then talked to some people who were involved in a rail trail and trying to get a rail trail going up, a whole range of rail trails actually around Mudgy. And then the last meeting I had today was with Russell Holden, Russell's obviously a councillor on Midwestern Regional Council. The main topic was around water, around Windermere Dam, and I'm going to get some more information on that and research that a bit more because I've had a few people bring up the water issue to me and I want to make sure that I get a good position on that so that I can take that forward to the government if I'm successful in being elected here and really represent this area in how it needs to be represented. I'm off home now, I've got to drive home and then I've got to go to the Greyhounds tonight so that'll be good to see some of the heats for the, uh, the major event that'll be on next Friday night in Dubbo for the regional final. talk about the year 2025. So just when this group is probably getting close to retirement age, you know, seven years in advance, <laughs> then, 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 no, 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 2025 forward. <laughs> Thank you.
and former Mayor of Dubbo here today. He'd like to say a few words. Hey, good day everyone. It's great to be here at Landfest. Good to see the third annual Landfest here and it looks fantastic this morning. I'm standing as an independent candidate for the next state election, which is in March next year. And I'd like to get around the whole electorate and talk to people, so I won't take up your time now on the microphone. What I will do though is I'll come along and say g'day to people. And if anyone's got any state issues they want to bring up with me, more than happy to hear those so I can make sure if I do become successful next year, I've got all the information I can possibly get to be able to represent people effectively next year. Have a great morning. Looks like an absolutely fantastic day. I'll be here for a couple of hours to chat to as many people as possible. Thanks very much. Started my day today at the third annual Windia Lamb Fest. Thanks to Glenda for contacting me last night via social media and inviting me along to the Lamb Fest. Yeah, I've never heard of the Lamb Fest before, but it was a fantastic day. There were a number of market stalls set up, people selling a range of items. Obviously, it was a celebration of all things lamb. A range of people were there, and it was great just to talk to locals. The announcers were good enough to tell the people there that I was there for the day. And so that was a fantastic start to the day. I spent about half a day there, and then I spent the rest of the day meandering my way back slowly from Windia back through to Mudgee and then back to where I am now in Bedangra. Some people don't want to talk about too many things, but the people that do want to talk, they have got great ideas and a whole range of great information to give you. And so I heard today about a range of things that I'll take on board as part of my listening tour and come up with some issues as we keep going forward. It's quite interesting to see the Bedangra Wind Farm, which I have toured before and I've, I've done some videos on that before. Uh, it's good to see some of the turbines spinning. They're doing some testing now to make sure the power is clean and it won't be long before the wind farm, the turbines behind me that you can see spinning will actually be putting power back into the grid which is very exciting for the obviously the proponents of that particular wind farm and, and people around the area that have got those turbines on their farm. This has been Matthew Dickerson, your independent voice.